Back then, I probably didn't realize it was running as bad as it was, to tell you the truth. It didn't seem like it was running that bad. Yeah, I would definitely say that we had a communication issue. We really looked at all our waste, and I have to say, and then sometimes it was almost a little embarrassing to, to find certain things, but uh, was taking the right attitude and seeing it more as an opportunity, you know, and looking forward. Well, it, uh, literally means um, excellence in America, growing lean with Bielstein employees. It involves um, making our processes leaner, I should say. And we start with the uh, huddle meetings in the morning. So what else needs improvement from yesterday? The huddle board success, I, I think it offers a, a very organized and, and structured approach to beginning every day. So the teams can come together and one of the interesting things that we implemented was the, uh, the what went well. So people have an opportunity to, uh, to talk about the positives, not only the negatives. In the beginning, it, it, you know, we would ask what went well and it was complete silence. I mean, you hear crickets because no, everybody was like, well, what do you want? Um, so I think with this approach, we, we started at least to give everybody a little more confidence to talk about uh, uh, their, their problems. The tube guy's not aware of what, we're, of what we're changing over to, what tube number we need. It was painful for me, to be quite honest, because it's very open and clear communication. Opening up the channels of communication between the different departments and opening up and talking to the, about the root cause of the issues actually uh, empowered the people to honestly talk about the problems, develop solutions and implement the solutions actually. Every morning we come through after the huddle meetings, we have a, a management review, supervisors, logistics, quality, maintenance, to go through and check the issues on the board. Uh, looks like last night uh, we had in May, and 416 in May. On these improvements, seal pack o rings in the wrong groove. That started this weekend. And it gets a cross functional team reviewing the board so that everyone knows what their responsibilities are, what issues were there. Communication, communication, communication. People depend on each other as, as a team, they work together as a team and you know, the, the teamwork, um, that, that, that teamwork at atmosphere. Teamwork, there's a team spirit. Teamwork's a big part of our, the way we do things around here. It makes you excited to come into work. I mean, because you, you can look forward to coming in and saying, you know, this is my job, this is where I work, and you know, I've got a role in making sure that everything is the way I want it to be to put out the perfect part to our customers. The CROE has jumped probably in main assembly 18 to 20 percent in the last year or so since we started Eagle Project. Uh, it's about creating value for our customers. We are able to maintain a competitive sales price, maintain our uh, superior quality, and uh, in general offer a better value to our customers. We created some room for working on issues we always wanted to work on but never had time. Um, for, for new developments, uh, for developing new suppliers, for really spending some more time on, on training for the employees. And the Transformation Eagle is probably one of the best things that's happened to us in the last three or four years. I mean, it's made a big difference. Our productivity's up. You know, we have, like I said, a lot of things get, get done now. We, uh were recognized uh, back in June by the Cincinnati Enquirer as one of the top workplaces uh, 2010 in the Cincinnati area. Uh, our sales funnel increased uh, tremendously over the last year with, with several projects in all kind of sizes uh, here, here for the NAFTA market. And again, in addition, we did receive uh, two, uh, we got a lot awarded two new programs in the last three months. Historically in, uh, in Bill Stein, uh, most of the product development, product design has been completed in Germany and then supported in the U.S. 
Um, one goal of mine is to create a, a engineering center here that uh, not only supports our U.S. and OEM customers, but also as a development center, an innovation center. You know, as, 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 as a leader, as a leader of a company, you always have to appear very, very strong and, and, and uh, you have to be always very certain. But that doesn't mean, uh, you know, behind uh, what you show that you're not doubt yourself. Uh, so me personally, the last two years uh, helped, helped tremendously to, 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 to develop confidence in, in, in what I'm doing. Bill Stein has a page on Facebook. You know, you can go over there and look at it anytime and say, you know, these guys are talking about how wonderful the shocks are that I built last week.